Good morning, this is uh, Jennifer Noreen with Gary Parker in the kitchen at Barbecue to You in Point Plaza Dickey Harbor. How are you, Gary? We're doing great. How are you guys doing today? Good morning. Very good, thank you. I love your little holiday, uh, like, your holiday extra there. Yeah. yeah, I don't know about Elf, but I'm not going to call you Santa Claus because that seems to upset people, so okay. I'll just say you look holiday-ish. Okay. Uh, so what are you doing there, Gary? We are trimming out brisket. Trimming out brisket. Yeah, and um, basically, uh, I guess we're going to... I'm going to show you again today. We've had some questions, all right, about trimming out brisket, and uh, because sometimes, sometimes people get uh, get meat and they say, "Oh, this is too fatty," and other ones say, um, "You know what? You know, what is all this?" And some people just come in and say, "Give me all the fat you can," right? And so I wanted to explain a little bit more um, about how the fat works um, on these briskets because you ever. I'm going to cut a new one here for you in a minute, but. Um, so you gotta remember that a brisket's really made out of two muscles, right? And, um, and there's a lot of really big, hard pieces of fat. Um, if I take this one, for example, um, as I trim it out, um, you know, we're trying, if you look right here, you can see how thick that is. You don't want to leave that, right? You don't want to leave that when you go into a cook. Is that gristle considered kind of a gristle? Or it's just a gristle, a yeah. Bad it's, fat? Okay. it's really hard. Yeah. Right? Um, as opposed to this, you can... You know, it's nice, soft, it's pillowy, mm -hmm. right? How's it? So this is going to melt. This is going to go down into the meat well, right? Mm -hmm. and it's going to create that buttery flavor. Mm -hmm. This stuff up, up here is not going to do anything. It's just mm -hmm. going to be ugly. And if you come in and you buy it, um, you're going to be mad at me, right? Mm -hmm. So you got to watch. Um, you got to watch when you uh, um, when you buy brisket. And guys that trim out brisket, they know this. And so we try to thin this stuff out. We can't take it all off, but that would be bad too, right? Mm -hmm. But we're gonna come right in here and we're just gonna see trim this thing out. Right? So it's normal if I order fatty brisket or even brisket just in general, I'm gonna see a little fat on the meat because that's how it's cooked to keep it moist, that's right. right? That's right. Yeah. That, that, that provides flavor. But right. It's gotta be the right kind of fat and it can't be too much. Right. Right. And that's why you have to sit here and trim these out. You know, a lot of times um, when I see pictures out on the web and, and various other places, I it appalls me sometimes because they're you know they'll take these big beautiful slices out of the middle of the here. See these big honking pieces of fat, right? Uh, and then that's just not good, right? Because you you didn't buy the meat to buy to eat all that fat, right? You uh, you bought the meat for the flavor and you want the meat part of it, right? So so yeah, um, that's why we sit here and um, um, and and trim these guys out like we do. You get what's called the kind of the gristle bad fat yeah. out there, and then right. you. You do something though with some of this leftover meat. So what's Absolutely. That? So so little pieces, um, little pieces like these right here. Uh, we'll just we're just going to take these little chunks off. And I make a um, a really lean uh, hamburger, right? So I take all this little fat off, and then later on, either one of the guys or something like that will take it and they'll grind it up. We make hamburger, and we take that over to the uh, to the homeless mission. So we do um, we do about 100 to 160 pounds a time when we when we go over there and. Um, and they uh, they make good use out of it, right? Because they can um, they can make hamburgers sometimes, but most of the times they make things that will go a lot further, like casseroles and things like that to feed the homeless. Um, so where's your burn in stack and where's your hamburger stack? Well, I'll get, right here in the same thing. Yeah, there? yeah. So that's where <laughs> I'm going to get to here in just a second as I trim this out. Um, these are burn ins, and, and where they come from is on some of these bigger pieces that I cut off. Like this was off the. Um, this was off the flat, and you can see how lean that meat is, right? And so it's a really nice, clean piece of meat. Um, I don't want to waste it. I don't want this big fat cap on it because I'm going to make a burn in out of it. So uh, I'll just cut them up to a couple. What will turn out to be a couple little uh, bite-sized pieces. Um, this is kind of one of the ways that the Kansas City guys make burn ins, by the way, is because they salt and pepper these up, they smoke them, and then they come back and re-render them in their own brisket juice, right? Yeah. And uh, and that's what gives them that that really deep flavor. Yeah. Right, so we'll uh, we'll end up making those for the store and, and selling those over the weekend. Another place is like this thing off the point. This is this big fin that we took off. Um, you can see it's got that really nasty hard fat, and I trim mine a little bit more than most because that's the way it was on the brisket, and it's because my shelf in the in the pit is only about this big, so I don't like them bumping up against the top of the uh, pop of the, the deal. So I cut them. If I was doing my trailer pit, I'd probably leave a little bit more of this on. But um, your um you have here yeah. at barbecue to you, right. which looks very large on the outside. Okay. We only have certain shelf level. Right. So you trim it out. So, so you trim it out a little bit. So 
so it works better. But yeah, so we'll just take these this nice. I mean, it's a beautiful piece of render. Uh, yeah. Really marbly meat. Right? Wow. Yeah. And uh, we'll just you know we're just going to take this uh, this ugly fat tap off of it. And um, again, when I'm making burn ends, I don't really need a lot of fat because I'm going to render it off in its yeah. own juices, right? So do most people who don't do barbecue even in the backyard know about creating burn ends? Um, some do. Some, yeah. do, you know, some of the more uh, um, practiced uh, folks, I think, yeah. know this. Um, others that are that are just getting started, yeah, you know, they, they probably don't realize that. Yeah, you, know, you can do different things with brisket meat as you as you trim it out. Right. But yeah, um, that's how we make. So those burn ends, you know, we'll uh, we'll get them on the pit later today, and they'll have them for for later tonight or tomorrow, right? And you can buy regular brisket, fatty or lean. Fatty or lean, that's what we want you to do. Um, Russian roulette yeah. brisket. Matter fact, is, yeah, is, uh, that's, that's one of the, uh, it's one of the things, especially to help the guys out, um, like on our, cause let, you know, we're doing a lot of online ordering. Um, I hadn't said this in previous videos, but it just came to mind. We do a lot of online ordering with COVID, right? And on the chow now systems, when you, when you, um, um, when you're putting your order in, there is an area for notes. You, know, you can you can tell us certain things, right? Um, if you're really adamant about whether you want lean or whether you want fatty, you should note that in that note column. Say, look, I'm, I'm looking for more fatty brisket than, than lean brisket, right? That'll really help my servers, right? Because when the orders come in, you just say two pounds of brisket, right? Um, it's not real clear what you're looking for, yeah. right? And they have to make a choice. And so usually they'll just pick whatever they have in the uh, in the counter next right and mm -hmm. and they'll chop it up and that's what you'll get and then some of the, some folks don't get what they want right they really wanted the the lean side or the fat side and so they'll call us up and say hey you didn't do it right right but you know the, it was really a phenomenon where the guys just had to guess because there really wasn't an instruction so don't hesitate to rate um in that in that comment column you know hey i want the lean yeah. or i want the fatty right so the customer just needs to specify what they yeah. want or yeah. they will get Get a little bit of each. They'll get a little bit of each or they'll get whatever's next. Day. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Because it's a very random thing. I mean, we're blowing through these briskets, you know, in a given day, you know, and, um, you know, when you're, when whatever happens to be in the cabinet, when you, when you call, that's what they're going to pull from. Sure. Right. So if they help, if they, if, if all they have is fatty and you say lean, well, then they'll go get the next one. Right. And they'll go ahead and pull off the, yeah. pull off the flat. Right. Um, but if they don't have any instruction at all, they'll just go ahead and cut with what they got because they're trying to be efficient and use you know and use it all so all right, yeah. all right. Well, very good well thanks gary i'll let yeah. you get back to your work it looks like you've got a couple more briskets to trim yeah. out for the day you, yeah. i know you do this fresh every yeah. day and they slow cook for 12 hours here yeah. in your oven in yep. the store that's why the store smells so amazing <laughs> um it's fun to see kind of the backstory here on how you do your delicious brisket thanks right. gary happy holidays all right happy holidays see you soon